Is there a pantheon of African gods? Welcome to the Sankofa Pan African series. Please support us through Patreon and by buying me coffee. Don't just subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification button. Share our videos and check out our website, sankofastorybooks.com, for history, Afrocentric stories, and other resources for children. Now, Africa being a diverse, multi-ethnic, multi-religious continent does not have a single pantheon of gods. As such, there's not one single African mythology or narrative about the many gods and goddesses of various African peoples. Although there are sometimes similarities in the creation stories of different groups. Generally, African religious uh, traditions are oral rather than scriptural, which makes them dynamic as they are passed down from one generation to another through religious observances, beliefs in spirits, supreme beings, and lower gods. Some African beliefs also venerate the dead and include ancestral worship. Beliefs are also passed down through folk tales, songs, and festivals. In the diaspora, African religions involve adaptations of religious and belief systems brought from Africa and adapted to include a pantheon of divine spirits such as the Orisha, Loa, Vodun, Nkisi, Alusi, among others. Most of these various African traditions have been syncretized by incorporating elements of Christianity, including saints and other forms of Native American religions and spiritism. This episode, which is the first of a series, will focus on Olodumare, the supreme being in the Yoruba pantheon. Now, the Yoruba have an elaborate hierarchy of deities, each with special duties and functions. Olodumari is the traditional name of the supreme being, who is sometimes called Olon in popular usage, especially since the advent of uh, Islam and Christianity. The name Olodumari or Eledumari refers to the supreme being's greatness and everlasting majesty. Literally translated, Olorun means the owner of heaven above or the Lord whose home is in heaven above. The Yoruba pantheon has several other lesser gods and spirits known individually and collectively as Orisha. An Orisha is a god who used to live as a person on earth when earth was first created. Present-day human beings are believed to be descended from various Orisha. I'm using the word Orisha instead of Orishas to depict the plural because the Yoruba language, unlike the English language, uh, does not depict the plural with the letter S. So although Olon or Olodumari, the supreme being, um, lives in heaven, he is not remote, but conceived of as a social being who is very much interested in the lives of people. He is therefore accessible and can be called on at any time, especially through the various Orisha. The Yoruba have several myths of uh, creation and origin. One of them has it that initially the earth was a marshy place with Olodumari and other Orisha living in heaven above. 
However, the distance between heaven and earth was much closer than it is now. Heaven was close enough for the Orisha to move easily back and forth between heaven and the earth on hunting sprees. All they had to do um, to get from heaven to earth was to climb down a chain made out of a spider's web. The earth at the time was a marshy place and Olodumare decided to make it more solid grounds. He therefore encharged one of the arch orishas, Obatala, also known as Oshanla, to go and create earth by turning the marshes into solid ground. In order to help Obatala achieve his mission, Olodumare gave him some loose earth in a snail shell. He also gave him a hen and a pigeon to help him scatter the earth in order to make it solid. After Obatala reported to Olodumare that the assignment had been completed, he sent the chameleon to go and inspect it. The chameleon reported on getting back to Olodumare that though a wide expanse of land had been created, it was not quite solid enough. So Obatala went and made the earth more solid by spreading more sand, after which he was also charged to furnish the earth. On Rumila, the oracle of, div uh, of divinity, was sent with him as his advisor and counselor to go and furnish the earth. So they took with them the palm tree to equip the earth. The palm tree was chosen because it could provide food, drink, oil, and leaves to make shelter. Obatala was also given three other fruit trees to supply drinks and food uh, to the inhabitants of earth. In addition, Obatala took with him the hen and the pigeon so that they could multiply and serve as food on earth. After all of this, Obatala was asked to lead the first 16 human beings who were created by Ulodumari to the earth. These people were the prototypes with which Obatala was instructed by Ulodumari to base future molds of human beings on. However, Obatala's creatures remained lifeless figures until Olodumari came and breathed life into them. Another myth explains how um, Olodumari or Olorun came to occupy a space so far from the earth. The Yoruba believe that the sky where Olodumari lived was not originally so far removed from the earth. It was so near that people could reach out and touch the sky. However, human beings got Olodumari really mad because they started rubbing their dirty hands against the sky after eating. As such, Olodumari, God, decided to move the heavens his abode, far away from the physical reach of humans. Since that time, Olodumare has kept an eye on the world from a distance through the Orisha. Like Nyame of the Ashanti, or gods of some other African cultures, Olorun, or Olodumare, is believed to be the creator of all things and all other deities. And like them, Olodumare is above and beyond other lesser gods. Olodumare creates, sustains, and protects. 
unlike the Orisha, Olodumare is not worshipped directly in Yoruba um, traditional beliefs. For example, most of the sacrifices prescribed by the Babalao or Iyanifa, who are priests and priestesses of Ifa, are taken to issue. So he can then appeal to Olodumare on behalf of the person who consults Orumila through divination. The Yoruba believe that all human beings are children of one God. Olorun Olodumare has various other names in the Yoruba language, such as Alayi, the everlasting, Eleda, the creator, Olojoni, the one who assigns and directs the day, and many more too numerous to state here. Thanks for watching. Please support us through Patreon and by buying me coffee so we can continue to bring you um, this series. Subscribe if you've not yet uh, done so. Please turn on your notification buttons and don't forget to share our videos with all your contacts and please keep those comments coming.